time to be uh, in pizza. Uh, first time uh, I was visiting ICTP. My family, uh, my wife, my son, uh, we came here. We had about four days, and uh, it's very nice to come back. And uh, I didn't know this beautiful place. We only went to the power. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we should have spent a long time here. So, uh, wonderful. Thank you very much here. Um, I uh, planned some uh, transparency. I wanted to show a lot of things, but uh, uh, I, I changed my mind after I came here. Uh, maybe it's better to talk a little bit less and slowly so uh, get people interested in this uh, Iraq career. Uh, so I'm uh, <coughs> using the following setting. Uh, e the uh, last keyword. Uh, <coughs> and we find a data and a company of interest. We pay in the fixed point. Uh, it's a, this is a, a fixed, uh, a maximum compact subgroup. We write a T <coughs> uh, is the complex we find the algebra is the algebra of T the complex equation and uh, the K is the uh, the algebra of the K also the complex y. Here we have the uh uh upon the composition uh, this is the, the sub zero means the, the real the algebra, so I just complexify everything. This is K plus T. Uh, the <coughs> bilinear form we need to use here is a uh, e, the king form. It's uh, restricted on P, the scale. <coughs> so, so I would uh, now define the Dirac uh, operator as uh, follows: it's uh, the Dirac uh, operator. E is the is defined as follows. So we would uh, choose the uh, orthonormal basis. So the orthonormal basis uh, for P uh, with respect to this uh, uh, non-degenerate uh, bilinear form. So uh, we write a ZI times the ZI. Uh, the uh, first factor is uh, think this is the uh, the is the universal imagination of the The second factor is the, uh, the Cleveland the is the is the is the 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 Understand that this is just uh, the vector value of the uh, of uh, different operator. The uh, taking the matrix value in the trig vector. Uh, so it's easy to say this uh, e the, the definition of e the uh, is the independent of choice of <coughs> basis.
time to actually on that. So uh, <coughs> this is the environment in the control trigger. Um, so why do we care about this? Now, the reason for that is the following. Um, we, we write this uh, G F is the so-called uh, unit to review. That is the equivalence classes of uh, irreducible uh, unit three. <coughs> representations of T the up to equivalence. Uh, this is the one to one correspondence to the uh, uh, simple uh, unit rate also with the unit rate structure. Uh, also up to equivalence. Uh, so uh, we have, when we have a representation, a unit representation of paper space, you can take the p-finite vectors to get the uh, GP module, to use for GP module, uh, inherited with this uh, unitary structure. Uh, conversely, for unitary representations, you can have uh, different uh, unique globalization to get back. Uh, so <coughs> if, if we do not uh, <coughs> require unitary, then we ask for admissible representations. So the, the long lens classification to uh, classify all this. Uh, uh, here there will be also the simple GP module or higher triangle module. In not unitary structure in the unit classified. So the question uh, is uh, how to identify all the unitary representations. Yeah, so the, the in the group of my annotation in the atlas, uh, we had a computer programming to, uh, to calculate if you are fixed uh, uh, in useful representation, you can run a computer programming to tell you which one is unitary. So, so in some sense, it's, uh, we have a, lot, a, lot, uh, a good knowledge about the unitary representation, but uh, the very important uh, <coughs> criterion to judge is using this uh, so-called drug inequality. Uh, right on here, drug inequality. So, so what is this? Uh, the D defined here has a, a nice property the D square is uh, equal to the uh, this is the Casimir 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 uh, plus some uh, scalar the low square and uh, plus the Casimir element of K but this, this K is uh, kind of the diagonal embedded into uh, this here with the row of the C with the half sums of all the uh, possible roots. Uh, so let's justify why we call this to be a drug. We call this <coughs> like a uh, black class over the uh, associated with the uh, uh, symmetric space in order to pay. Now, so with this identity, uh, we can get this so-called Dirac inequality. This uh, so suppose this uh, uh, so suppose I have a representation here. The corresponding p finite vectors have a right type of pi. This is the uh, horizontal model. Is the following is uh, we pick up some element uh, in, uh, in e of the gamma inside of the x of the pi times the s. So what is s? S is the uh, spin module. Dimension. If dimension P is even, uh, there is a unique C 
simple module. Now that module we call the spin module. Uh, if this up, it will have two, but the difference is very small. It's just a bi-dimensional character. So you can just pick up one of the uh, <coughs> one of the uh, simple modules, and uh, now this this became a a k tuner module. Uh, this is a, a two-fold cover. Some two-fold cover. Okay, because we are. Uh, it's the spin module here. It's, uh, um, it, it might be not the uh, direct of the spin module. It to the two body power. So suppose we have something there, suppose we pick up some atoms uh, in this uh, <coughs> tuner module. So we look at the action D e of the wave. E of the wave. Uh, this is larger than equal to zero. Uh, the reason here is that because of this is a unitary structure, so this makes the D to be a high unitary. This implies D is a self So with the self pentagon is we would have this equals the D square of the weight weight. And uh, uh, E squared uh, <coughs> using the information here, so this would be given as uh, minus lambda square. Uh, this x by the uh, character. This one, because we are doing the p-type there, is also x by the uh, character of the corresponding p-types. So that is uh, given by the uh, uh, let me clarify what is pi. What is the pi? Pi is the, the uh, I pick up some uh, irreducible unit for a computation. So I want to give a conditions uh, on this uh, unit for a computation. So the left hand side depends on pi, and uh, right hand side doesn't depend on pi. In, in this corollary, the pi is going to implies that D is self adjoint. Uh, I, I haven't said anything about uh, the representation. I, I only said, suppose we have some uh, uh, k types inside of uh, the k type tensor is the Skinner. I would write down a relation. I, I want to write down a relation. But you wrote a sentence that pi is unitary implies that D is self adjoint. And That's right, yeah. Okay, so because there was a, a commission forms on this, there will be also a commission forms on the uh, on the uh, spinner, so uh, on the X. So this gives us a, a commission forms on this tensor product. So and a very good question. So now I have this uh, <coughs> ZI. The so the first uh, is the action is on this, second action is the different action on that. So the direct operator is acts on this space. And, uh, and uh, yeah, you ask me, so I should have seen it clearly. So D is self adjoint and, and this uh, action. And uh, because of that, I, I pick up one element. Yeah, one element uh, is uh, in the p type so that it's uh, uh, it's, uh, it's positive definite, so, so I would have this uh, gamma is the highest weight, so, so in terms of parity this, so I would get this uh, larger than equal to zero. So immediately we get this uh, infinitesimal character. Lambda is the infinitesimal character. Lambda is the infinitesimal character. have the inequality, this is square uh, in the less than or equal to the comma plus the same square. Yeah, this is for any uh, representations inside of this kind of product. This is the drug inequality. I'm sorry, I was not uh, giving all the necessary information at the beginning because I wanted to go to directly this uh, uh, inequality. Can you say once more what gamma is? 
uh, gamma is the uh, one of the representations in the uh, piece of, would be regarded as a KQ representation. It's uh, the K types, K types of uh, uh, of the of the G, but tensor the spinners, spinners is the different for module. Uh, you also, we also have a K action. Yeah. So we will have a KQ type. Uh, so in general, this is a so the pullbacks of uh, K to the uh, K. This is the uh, embedding into the uh, uh, SOP action. But here, because it's the inside of the leaflet, we will have a spin key. Uh, this is the pullback of that. So as we are the future, we have to go to the full power. So the, those key types, 
is uh, called the Shimano homology. Uh, so the representation is way the we get to the general definition. Uh, general definition is uh, for a general GK module is uh, we don't have this uh, uh, self energy So it's for the kernel D quotient kernel inside the image is for general. Maybe not. And third B plus rho C should it be gamma plus rho C? Uh, this one? Yeah, gamma plus rho C. <laughs> this is the one of the highest uh, because this is just the infinitesimal character for that P type. Uh, so uh, when I stated the theorem of the uh, uh, the Morgan's conjecture, the, the, all the whole pictures, why we have this gamma and why we have the infinitesimal character in the here. I uh, stated the conjecture and the theorem. So and, uh, what do you mean when you say k-type? When I say the k-type is uh, basically here is decomposed of the useful representation of what k maximum compact. There are some of the useful This is also the final dimensional representation of k, maybe the two for cover, and the tensor product of two still decomposed as the uh, uh, reusable representation for measurement of that subgroup. Probably one by hand to the super power. So you, you pick up one of the representations, any representation, so that it satisfies this condition. Yeah, you see this is the UR homology, because this is exactly the kernel of the D. Uh, so you can think the UR homology it's just to define as the kernel of <coughs> x on this. So you have three pure z in, on the board right now, four of them. One on the top line and three on the bottom line. Are they all the same? Uh, I have a three. So you have pure z, pure z, pure z, pure z. No. <laughs> so are they all Sorry, the same? Can, can you say it again? <laughs> So you have kernel of D in the first line. Oh, kernel of, uh, and kernel of the D, kernel yes. of D in the second line. Do they mean the same? Story? Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Because the first one I mean, is X on the unitary module. The second one is not a necessary unitary module. If it's not a necessary unitary module, uh, then the kernel and the image may not be zero. So this is the, in general. So, uh, so in general, uh, find out the definition. Do you want to write? So let, I, yeah, let me let me give a name here. Okay. K to D of the X some GK modules is uh, defined as the kernel and uh, over the kernel over the image. This is called the graph homology in general for the any GK module. In the special case of unitary representations, uh, it was just uh, became a kernel because this will reduce the kernel. This uh, this uh, uh, is a zero. Uh, uh, the reason we define this way is because of the uh, those are the key types which the uh, uh, <coughs> making the developing inequality to become equality. This is something like the critical key types, critical uh, points. Uh, Okay, so maybe immediate question is uh, why we care about that. So, uh, I, I write down the, this white line conjecture, then I will do this Wolfgang's uh, conjecture. So as we call it, call it we are reaching this point. So uh, the idea is this. So any any unit representation, any reusable unit representation. Uh, so it's uh, it's Hirschhandler module. Uh, e either this uh, Hirschhandler either pi has uh, non-zero Dirac cohomology, 
Yeah, in this case, it means it's uh, it's uh, have some k types here which to the critical point. Yeah, so, so this means the divide homology you know, pi is another zero. Yeah, so all uh, pi is uh, irreducibly induced. Is by parabolic induction, by real parabolic induction. From uh, the uh, from from an uh, irreducible representation with uh, non-zero divide homology. With uh, Uh, so let's make the representation with the Dirac homology interesting. Uh, yeah, the Dirac inequality we reach to the uh, kind of critical point. Uh, so any unitary representations, uh, if, if either have Dirac homology, uh, this uh, uh, typically is uh, the uh, discrete series or AQ lambda modules. All they can be constructed uh, by a parabolic induction uh, is fully induced on this. So which one of these two cases is this bit series? You talk about this conductor. This is the, the conductor I put here in the to uh, make to uh, eliminate that the uh, uh, that uh, unitary representation with the Dirac homology that I'm interested in. Yes, so in the uh, which one is discrete series? Uh, the discrete series is the one typically in the head of the Dirac homology. So I, I will write on that. Is the uh, so uh, what kind of representation has a non-zero Dirac homology? The typically discrete series, uh, uh, something called equal lambda modules, uh, unitary high speed modules. Uh, the, the reason I'm writing that is this is in the philosophy of uh, Harishandra and the gap on uh, the cast forms. Uh, uh, that philosophy says uh, you have uh, uh, some representations, they are cuspidal. Uh, the others, they are fully induced from cuspidal representations. So here, the representations with, uh, not with the non-zero direct homology, uh, or, or in other words, they are rich to this uh, Inequality became inequality. Those representations are special class, like uh, cusp forms. The rest should be uh, fully induced by a parabolic induction. Uh, uh, those things hold for those groups we understand the classification, like the TLM. Uh, uh, but the homology is, if the model is induced, then the homology is zero? Uh, can you see the data? If the, if the representation is uh, induced from... Uh, no, if it's fully induced, yeah, yes. It's uh, the Dirac homology would be, yeah, the Dirac homology. Yeah, that is clear. Uh, uh, yeah, it's clear. It's because, uh, uh, yeah, anything fully induced would have a... Uh, uh, would have a zero to our homology. Yeah. Uh, it, so is it because of continuity of some spectrum? Uh, it's, uh, it's because of the something about it is a character. Fully induced, some of the characters would be uh, satisfied, the condition would be vanishing on the elliptic elements. Uh, we, we can get to that. Uh, <laughs> I was a little bit ambitious, maybe, to. Uh, uh,
And, and then we will move on to some representation to be the number of homology. And in particular, so-called elliptic representation. Mm -hmm. And then uh, answer your question, why is uh, the induced and not, uh, not having the uh, rock homology? OK, so here is the theorem. <coughs> Yeah, this is the conjecture by uh, David Bogan in, uh, so this is the conjecture. By Bogan in 19, around 1997. Uh, so it's a proof uh, by me and uh, Paula Pavich. Uh, the paper is uh, published in O, uh, o, two, uh, so the statement is uh, there is a list theta uh, 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 from the center of the universal numeric algebra to the center of the K. Uh, it's an algebra of the model. Uh, such that uh, for for any z uh, in z g, uh, uh, one has a uh, z to the, the identity the z cancel y minus this uh, backing to z. Actually, this is goes to the uh, diagonal embedded part of z. Uh, it uh, equals uh, p a plus a e or some A, E, U, G, So uh, this is the, the uh, statement. Uh, moreover, this uh, mapping can be determined by the following. Furthermore, Y 
one group currently that could be usually you can have more character. Also the representation of of the of the module K. Uh, here this, this part is the key actually. Yeah. So uh, so uh, this, this gave a, a very strong condition on the uh, character and the some uh, uh, highest weights will keep pass the same character. This is the relation. So um, I will get a, a proof of this because it's only take a one sentence of that. Uh, um, okay, here we can actually prove this uh, color from the theorem. It's just one line proof. No, <laughs> it's one line, it's a vertical. <laughs> um, uh, so how do we do that? Is uh, uh, we pick up something way in the kernel uh, uh, in, in this uh, E gamma so that this is a uh, way in the, in the kernel but not in the image. Uh, we think of some representatives. So we, we let this uh, identity, the both sides, yeah, X on this back. <coughs> so the left hand side would uh, X by uh, the independent of the character of, uh, of the day. And uh, because uh, this also corresponding to that key type, so this would be suspect by the uh, the infinitesimal characters of the Psi of the Z. Yeah, so, so this is left hand side of the way. So how about the right hand side? The right hand side, you know this is the in the kernel. Uh, so that that term disappeared, this would be the E A way. But uh, we chose this the way in the inner kernel, but not in the image. This says in the, in the image. The only possibility is this y to be zero. Uh, the conclusion is that uh, the conclusion is this uh, chi of the way of the state has to be equal to this uh, chi of gamma plus no c plus, plus no c the psi of the state. So we have to we conclude this. Uh, so that's giving the uh, That's the uh, purpose of uh, uh, of obtaining this uh, uh, identity and uh, using this identity to uh, uh, to act on some things on the dual homology, and that now zero gives the uh, strong relations on the dual character. Uh, so that's the uh, all the picture, full picture. Uh, I, I spent a lot of time on this because this has been generalized to several other settings. Uh, first, is the constant uh, generalize this to the uh, UR configures uh, with a more general pair, not the uh, symmetric, uh, symmetric pair, but the more general is the cubic UR configure. Uh, uh, they cross more than the fragile. And the puppy is uh, uh, extending this setting to the uh, this moment conjecture to the uh, alpha and uh, alpha the adverse. Uh, there will be also settings for the uh, super the adverse, the, the basic type, uh, only for the basic type. Uh, also the uh, uh, equivalent cohomology setting. Hyper-algebra setting. Yeah. So there were several settings uh, are using this uh, uh, similar proof. Yeah. Similar proof of this uh, idea. Uh, now let's me get to the sense of application. Uh, so there is something called the Iraq index. I should uh, see this in the last uh, maybe five minutes. Maybe I take a few few more few minutes more. Okay. Uh, we start a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, we started at half past. Well, yeah, I, I should take less than 10 minutes because I want to, because once I started this uh, uh, index, I, I think I should finish it. Uh, index. <laughs> the one operator, of course, is associated to the differential geometry of the index theory. 
So there are the similar things here. We call the Dirac index. So I should uh, define. So uh, Dirac index. So what is the Dirac index? Uh, Dirac index actually we can also consider the, this situation is uh, we have an uh, x sum uh, TK module. Uh, in particular, uh, this restricted on K is the direct sums of uh, uh, irreducible representations. So we can consider x tends uh, of uh, s. So, so here I, I, I'm making the following uh, uh, assumption in the dimension of the P is given. And in particular, we're talking about the equal rank case is P is always given. So in this case, the sphere is the direct sum of the even part and the plus part. So we can let <coughs> direct operator B give the x on the x times the s, so it goes to the x times the s minus. And the minus would be equal to the uh, plus. And so what, what is the, 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 uh, the index? So we have first to consider this uh, spinner index. And this trial to be the rock index. So the spinner index i of, of x is just the formal difference of the two. Uh, this is the a virtual module. is x times the s plus subtract x times the s minus. Now the only finite many k uh, types of y, uh, most of them is the same with the same multiplicity. Uh, the reason for that is uh, if you look at this this map in D. So we have the x times the s plus max to x times the s minus. And the D square uh, x by speeders on uh, uh, k, k types or k tilde types. On uh, each of the period computations, this D square will be x by speeder. How do we have this formula on the D square? So we call that in the uh, elements, difference on the Casimir elements. So on the p types, it, it's x by speeder. So most of them, they are just not identity maps. Uh, now if it's not zero speeder, so it's just canceled. The only thing is the survived and the difference is <coughs> d square equal zero. Uh, so that's actually related to the Dirac homology. Uh, so the, I, will, I will not <coughs> prove it, but I will prove the fact that you can prove it this difference is just the Euler characteristic of the uh, Dirac uh, cohomology h plus h minus. So, so what is this part? This is also when we define the Dirac uh, cohomology, it will be also corresponding to the s plus s, s minus. S plus will be the even part, s minus will be the uh, odd part. So this will be finite many times. So this is called the uh, Dirac index. So what is the relation between the, the uh, Dirac homology? This is all your characteristic. Uh, the theorem, we can show this in the, if, uh, if uh, x has a regular infinitesimal character, if x has a regular infinitesimal character, this, uh, this would uh, imply uh, uh, the index is a non-zero one. So the index not zero uh, implies, sorry, I don't know if The index is obvious if the index is the non zero Dirac homology is not zero. Because we have something different in non zero, so the Dirac homology is non zero. So if it's a regular infinitesimal character, in the other way, it's also true. It's a HD x, sorry, I'm going to write this. The HD plus. 
and HD minus has no overlap. It's uh, uh, is equal to zero. It's the even part and the odd part have no overlap. Yeah, so this means if uh, you work on a model phase without zero, also implies the Dirac index is not zero. Yeah, the no overlap, you cannot cancel. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the reason to consider that is, uh, is uh, this graph index actually gives the uh, uh, something called the elliptic graph condition. Uh, it's no sense if the global characters is not vanishing uh, in. Uh, Maybe I will just say it roughly, and for people that are interested in we can, we can talk maybe at, uh, during the break. So uh, the idea is that those series can be uh, used to study the so-called elliptic reference for homogeneous analysis. So those are global characters. These are different global characters. Questions? 